Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool Telemania wooden duck telephone and this is Don's equipment from PA and this is the initial checkout of this really cool telephone. Now Don acquired this duck telephone and he wants to give it to his daughter as a gift. And this telephone does not work. It's been surged by electric on the telephone line and it has ruined the PC board. It's taken out both IC chips, your tone generator, and there is an associated chip for the tone generator because of the age and design of the telephone PC board. It also took out four transistors, two diodes, and some other components, and it blew the center off the surround of the 100 ohm speaker that was used for a receiver, the audio of the telephone. Now this duck telephone did not have a duck quacking sound on a ring cycle. It has a piezo buzzer. So the piezo buzzer does not have an off and on switch. So this duck telephone never had the quacking ring cycle that you would hear with most of the wooden ducks. They quack. And this duck did not have that quacking on a ring cycle option. Since the IC chips are no longer available and you can't find those parts, we're going to have to abandon this PC board and go to another telephone PC board and make sure that we can install it inside this duck. There's not a lot of room inside the duck, so we need to install a different PC board for the telephone. We also are going to try to make this duck quack. So we will have to build those circuits. We need to redesign a whole new situation for this duck telephone. So everything we do with the PC boards are going to have to be redesigned and installed on the inside of this duck telephone. We're also going to have to redesign the circuits that make the eyes light for this duck when you go off hook and we will have to also redesign a circuit that makes the eyes light on a ring cycle along with the quacking. So we're going to see how that goes. We want to try to do as much as we can because Don wants to give this duck telephone to his daughter. So we want to do the best that we can with the situation that we have. We have a lot of work that needs to be done and a lot of redesigning of this duck telephone. We'll go ahead and take some still pictures of this really cool duck telephone and we'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the redesigning, the troubleshooting, and the repair process of this duck telephone. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back.
Okay, we're back now and we're finished up with the repair and all of the redesigning and conversion of this wooden duct telephone and we're ready to start our final checkout. Now I also want to mention our amplified pickup that we have taped to the receiver of the duct telephone. It's an audio pickup and I have an amplifier back by the video. It has a button on it. When I press the button, I can give dial tone or take it away at any time. And since it's an open amplifier, it is prone to any static interference or noise in the atmosphere. I'm going to go ahead and press the button. You may hear a little bit of an electrical hum. I'll release it. Press it one more time. And release it. So if you hear any noise during the final checkout, it will be coming from the amplifier and not the duct telephone. We also want to mention that we installed another piezo buzzer and there's a switch that was used originally for the pulse and tone mode of a telephone and we have the switch to the right position which turns off the piezo buzzer and then if you hit the switch to the left the piezo buzzer will come on. So we turned the button for pulse and tone into an off and on switch for the piezo buzzer, which we're not going to use the piezo buzzer because we want to hear the quacking sound that we installed into this duck telephone. So that was another situation that we wanted to go over. Now what we want to do is go ahead and plug our duck telephone into the telephone line and we can use the analyzer and send a ring cycle like you were getting a call. So we'll start that. Our eyes are lighting on a ring cycle. We'll let that go a few times. We'll let it go one more time and we'll give you some dial tone. We want to go ahead and walk through our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers roll by. I'm going to go ahead and end in a 2. Now I want to transmit into the duct telephone. So if you watch this red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hello? Hello. Go ahead and hang our duct telephone up. Now that we know that this duct telephone is ringing in on a ring cycle, it has its quacking sound on a ring cycle. We have our keypad and we're able to dial out our eyes light when you pick the duct telephone up to answer a call and our eyes light on a ring cycle. We can go ahead and press this button on the switch box. That'll give us a line out totally take the analyzer out of the situation and we'll call a time and temp number. Go ahead and give you some dial tone. And we'll make that call. The time and temperature is coming up after this. To hear the time and temperature, just stay on the line. Today is Tuesday, September 7th. The current time, 12.09 p.m. And the temperature, 84 degrees. We can go ahead and hang up. Now that we know that this really cool wooden duct telephone by Telemania has been repaired, converted, and redesigned, we can return this duct telephone back to Don 
and he can enjoy this telephone and give it to his daughter as a gift like he planned. I'm sure this duck telephone is going to look great wherever it's used. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.